All right, so I wanted to finish this interview so bad that I decided to get on the bus with you. I've done over 1,100 interviews in this city, right? And one of the things I've discovered is things have happened to some of our little girls, right? Um, so I'm just gonna ask, right? When you were younger, like anything ever happened to you? Well, are they still living in hotels? Yes. And is this like your mom or dad or? Mom and stepdad. Mom and stepdad? Yeah, how does that make you feel? I mean. No, truly. It hurts. What's up, YouTube? Back in the lab with KD for the summertime. And this time I got my hitters with me. If you want to get this work, hit up at KD with the muscle on Instagram. Now back to the content. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. So we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm good, and you? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Um, so are you homeless? Yes. Okay, and so how old are you? 25. 25, and so how long have you been homeless? Five months. About five months, and so what happened five months ago that caused you to become homeless? Thought family will be able to have my back and be who they are supposed to be in my life as helpers and providers for me and my kids, but change things okay okay so we, we're gonna we're gonna unwind that so um, how many kids do you have two two and so we see this little beauty right here how old is she six months okay so shortly after you had the baby you lost housing where were you living with my family with your mom and dad okay um what happened why why'd you get put out with a, a woman though we didn't get put out well all of us got put out we was evicted um long story short we was in a hotel and I wasn't able to pay because I don't have a job. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, okay. So as far as the dad goes, um, uh, and by the way, how old is your other child? She's four. Four. Okay. Um, same dad or different dads? Different. Okay. And so as far as the dad of um, this <laughs> little beauty goes, um, so is he like active and present in her life and stuff like that, or not quite so much? Well, I wouldn't call him a dad. I would call him a sperm donor. My their dad is Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I get that, but I always ask the young ladies, I always push back, and I say, well, guess what? You're the one that let him get all up in that, right? Well, God put us in situations to make us stronger for him, so I just live off of it and just say, well, it's his loss because I have two beautiful children. Okay, so were y'all like in a relationship, or was it just kind of like, so y'all were like in a relationship? Okay, so when did the relationship dissolve? Did it dissolve before you had the baby or after? What, during both times when I was pregnant and I had to set boundaries today and like my boundaries and so what I were the boundaries that you said disrespecting me talking to me any kind of way and want to put my their hands on me so they was putting their hands on you okay okay we're gonna get into that because I always wonder like uh oh is this your bus okay so all right I'm gonna get on the bus with you because it sounds like a good story is that okay okay all right where were you headed by the way cool. okay all right, so I wanted to finish this interview so bad that I decided to get on the bus with you. Okay, so, all right, so long story short, um, so, all right, so two kids, have you ever been married? No. no. okay, so let's just start from the beginning. So, where are you from? Mississippi. You're from the Silk? <laughs> hey, man, shout out that Silk, man, shout it out. In my hump, in my double head, double, whatever, whatever, humpback, humpback, all that stuff, all right. Shout out Mississippi, man. And so, growing up in Mississippi, did you have both mom and dad and also? Um, no, but I did have a big mama and a great-grandfather, and they took care of me. Okay, okay, so your big mama was your mom's mom or your dad's mom? My mom's dad's mom. Oh, wow, okay, so your great grandma. Okay, okay, and so uh, did you ever get any ideas to why, like, your mom and dad didn't raise you? Um, maybe because my dad was already married, and he stepped out on his marriage. <laughs> what? How, what age were you when you found that out? Um, Young. What? Yeah. What? Life be life. Keep okay. Ah. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> listen. Yeah. Trust me. I know. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, um, okay. So, like, as far as your dad, even though it was, you know, you was, I guess, what they would call a side baby, um, was he still active and present and everything else? Okay. So he's still active and present. Um, and what about mom? Like, why didn't she raise you? She raised me. Um, she just wasn't a mother figure. She was more of a uh, wanting to be my friend other than my mom. Okay, okay, I get that, I get that. Um, what effect do you think that had on you growing up? Uh, it was hard because I wasn't able to go to my mom to certain things because I know she would give me a friend instead of a mom. 
so it was kind of hard. Like was, what type of things? Like give us an example. Oh, it's a lot, but um. So when when people say that, it always triggers me because um, I've done over eleven 1 hundred interviews in this city, right? And one of the things I've discovered is things have happened to some of our little girls, right? Um, so I'm just gonna ask, right? When you were younger, like, did anything ever happen to you? No. Okay, so it's nothing like that. So what are the things that you like had a, a problem with, like talking to your mom about or whatever? Mostly things that I want to do to encourage me in my life. She just put it down just because she wasn't able to do it and finish it when she was my age. You mean like high school and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay, did you end up graduating high school? No. No? What, what was the highest grade? 11. 11? What made you drop out in 11? I was having seizures back to back. I have epilepsy, so I wasn't able to finish it with my sickness. Hmm. Okay. Um, there was like no type of like online schooling available or anything like I that? I did homeschooling, but it was like, shoot, I rather want to make money than sit up here and learn something that I already know. Okay, okay. So, I mean, at that point when you dropped out, did you just like start working or? Okay, so you just started working, making money, stuff like that. Okay, um, how do we find ourselves in this situation? Like, how do we find ourselves? Like, I understand you just had the baby. Um, were you like, were like you and your people, were y'all like trying to split the cost on the rooms and stuff like that or? Um, no, it wasn't splitting nothing. It was you come up with it or you go to shelter. Well, are they still living in hotels? Yes. And is this like your mom or dad or? Mom's stepdad. Mom and stepdad? How does that make you feel? I mean. No, truly. It hurts, but I mean, God's showing me that I am the one that he's chosen to break the generation curse in my family and stop all the bullshit. So I'm okay with it. As long as I know that God has my back and taking care of me and my girls, so I really don't care. Okay, and so both of the dads are basically kind of... Um, sperm donors. Sperm donors. Okay, so now let's get back to that. Why did you pick those type of guys? Um, why did I pick them? Because I was going through a mental problem. I was grieving over my big mama and my grandfather passing. So I was trying to get something that I wasn't giving from someone else. So you so trying to get like love and, okay. Love and peace. And I had got that for a little minute, but it didn't last long. Why can't y'all get love and peace from like good guys? Um, like why do y'all have to go for? Or gay or either married or either just out here just slinging shitty dicks. <laughs> what does that mean? That means he's gay and he has shit on his dick. <laughs> Okay, okay, but that's just not true. So, in other words, like it's funny to joke about, but the truth is, is that over 51% of black men are um, childless, over 60% are in the middle class, okay? And so, you're not going to sit here and say all these guys are gay. Over, probably, I would say 100% is not mature enough for me. Not mature enough? Yes. Why would you say that? Her dad is 30 years old. He's staying in a house um, with not even his family. They are taking all of his money. Um, my oldest child, he is 44, and he's just now getting out on his own. He's been helping his sister take care of eight of her kids. Um, just very mature. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. I know that you was going through your stuff or whatever, but can you take accountability for the fact that you yeah. picked those guys, right? Yeah, I shouldn't have So on. then what does that mean as far as you goes? Like, I am a low picker on me. I don't think twice. I just go on with the flow. Okay, so then instead of talking about how men are gay and all this stuff, why can't you just say, well, I just pick bad guys. There's not, it's not like, so in other words, there's tons of good guys like work at a warehouse or work here, work there, you know, work for the city, doing trash. And still paying for coochie. And don't even want to take care of their children. So what do you call those men? So you just you just talking about all the all the bad guys when there's tons of good guys out here. I, I run into some good guys, but you know what's wrong with those good guys? They have demons, they have devils, and they have spirits. So everybody is bad, is what you're saying. So the good say, guys are bad, the other guys are gay, the other guys are two thuggers, and they don't take care of their kids. So there's no good guys. That's that's a losing you know mentality. What? I don't want a good guy. I want a godly man. 
And so there's no godly man. Well, when God like, come on now. that man, I will know for a fact that's my man. It doesn't sound like you're prepared when, for him right now. Because I'm, he's still working on me. You're, well, right. Like, so maybe this is me. maybe this conversation is part of it because you are tripping. Okay, you I mean, according to you, every guy that you could possibly come into contact with is gonna have a problem. He's yeah. either gonna have demons, he's gonna be what you say, shitty dick. He's gonna have mom problems, he's gonna have dad problems, he's gonna have baby mama problems. It's gonna be something in that motherfucking problem. He's gonna have something so, wrong with him. So I just so I think that that is just such a poor attitude to have. Because because that, that leaves no room for success. Leaves no well, room for success. Me personally, by me being homeless, I don't want a man right now. I understand that right now, but I'm just thinking about later on. I'm thinking about in the future, you know. Later on, I would hope and pray that I'm praying on now that I would get back into church and God would give me a godly man. Somebody probably behind the pulpit. I don't want nobody out here on these streets. Well, the guy behind the pulpit be slanging more D than anybody. Well, <laughs> like, don't get I you don't slanging on me. <laughs> so then what's, what's, so what's up with the other guys then? So. I mean, if the guy behind the pulpit can do that, why can't the other guys do because that? Because most of the guys that's on the streets can't even pray. Most of the guys that's in the streets Are you kidding don't me? even... Yeah. These guys be... Have you ever met a jail guy? Like, have you ever met a guy that went to prison? Like, they know more about the Bible than the preacher. He might be knowing about the Bible, but at the end of the day, he's slinging something. He's lying to someone. He's doing something Sounds that's like the ungodly. preacher to me. <laughs> but I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Okay, okay. Because here's the thing. How tall are you? Four nine. Four nine, you are such a little cutie, and I'm a short guy, so you know I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm fun size. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you are okay. I think you're a cutie, but fine, fun size, whatever you want to call it. The point is, is that you know, like, and you're a pretty girl, right? So it's like, young lady. You're right. I'm. I, by the way, guys, my birthday is today, so it's my birthday. I'm working, working on my birthday. I'm 41 today, guys. Um, but yes, yes, young lady, you're correct. And so I guess. It, it saddens me to hear you talk like this because again it's like that that's not gonna leave any room for anything but okay so okay so let's just get back on track so so the bottom line is um that's that's wild to me that your mom is okay with her grandbabies being out you know homeless basically and she's you know living in a hotel she's you know got you know, it's not luxury or whatever, but still, she's got a roof over her head and whatever stability they have. Like, why would she do that? Um, I would say that she wasn't taught how to be a mom. She didn't never have a mother figure herself. So, I just take that up to God because he knows best. He knows what she's needing and just put it all in his work because he can do more to her and for her than I can. All I can do is just love on her and pray for her. I know that's right. I know that's right. I ain't mad at it. All right, you say that getting back into church, did you get out of church at some point? Yes. Why is that? Um, well, I was very rebellious. I um, was very hoish. Um, so when did that start? Like, what age? 18. And so what was it that made that, you know, hoish way start? Working at an... Um, chicken plant, being around different people with different spirits and laying down with those spirits, you'll get up with the exact same spirit with two times worse. You say working at a chicken place? <laughs> chicken place. I mean, why did they, I don't, I don't, I guess I didn't understand what the importance of the chicken place was. Chicken plants. Oh, like chicken plant. Chicken okay, birds. that's almost like a warehouse type yeah. here. Okay, okay. So yeah, we know what the warehouse is. Everybody be doing everybody. Everybody doing everybody. <laughs> okay. And so that's what's going on with you? Before well, that, were you not? With and so before that, were you not like on the Polish type stuff or whatever? Mm -hmm. I was very godly. I went to church every Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday. What do you think, like, what what made that stop? Like, why did that stop? Well, like I, yeah. Like I said, um, when you lay down with them, you wake up with them. Hmm. Okay. All right, so, you know, if your mom or stepdad were to happen to come across this video on YouTube, would they, like, hit me up and say, nah, let me tell you the real story. Let me tell you what really happened. This is the truth. Would they do that? I mean, if they do. Tell the truth now. I come don't on care. now. 
I well, mean, but my mom, she really don't, ain't no YouTube person. She's a TikTok person. Well, what normally happens is that somebody sends them the video. So somebody's going to see you that knows y'all and they're going to send her the video. So go ahead and tell us now, like, well, what she's going to... I really don't care. I have my own problems going on and they know what really happened. So I just... Well, what is, what is the part that you're not telling us? What part? You tell me. There's no part. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. I've done enough of these interviews to know that... When people tell stories, they always tell their version, and there's normally a part of it that's left out that, you know, may make them look a little bit worse, right? So they leave that part out. So go ahead and drop it on us now, because I know I'm going to get the email in a week or two about whatever it is. So, so <laughs> go ahead. You think that I'm lying and no. I'm the homeless one with two kids? No, in the but, well, here's the thing. It's not about homeless or anything like that. It's just a people thing. It's literally human nature. I don't nature. care what people think. No, no, no. Not, not, not no, no, no. Listen, not what people think. I said it's a people thing, meaning that it's human nature. It's just something You're that right. we all do. But right? So I'm just I'm just having you, I'm just asking you to get in front of it, right? So that if there is anything, you can just let us know. And that, you They know, don't need to be in my business. If you want to be in my business, send me a cash We already up in your business, and we're going to do that send anyway. Send me a cash You ain't got to worry about that. But I was just trying to get in front because <laughs> oftentimes what happens is that the family members hit me up, and they're like, oh, no. Let me tell you about her. And then they give me this whole different version of the person than who, who I interviewed. And so you're saying that that is or is not going to happen? I mean... You're saying that it may happen? I don't care if it does, but if it do and if it don't, then God is showing me who they are still and to this day. Okay. All right. All right. If, if you're one of your baby daddies would happen to come across this and see this, and you know, they're being put on blast for being deadbeats, right? Um, what do you think their reaction should be? Step up. Do for your child. Mm. That's my thing. I know that's right. I know that's right. All right. Well, listen, miss, we really appreciate you taking the time, um, answering all of our questions. If anybody out there did want to reach out, help or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Um, yes. My Instagram is lifestyle. Mom life? Hold on. Let me make sure. Well, just hit me up on Facebook. My name is LaMonica Jamika Jones. L-A-M-O-N. Hold on now. Hold on now. I'm Monica. L-A-M-O-N-I-C-A J-A-M-E-K-I-A. Okay. Okay. Um, what's your cash app? I don't have a cash app. I have an Apple bag. But you, you said hit him up on the cash app. Well, you you were just talking up, junk. That's a whole nother number. Ain't well, no, number? no, no. We don't want your number, but... It has normally has People a cash tag. Well, but it, so listen now, this probably gonna get some views. So I'm just in case somebody wanted to donate. Are you sure you don't want to put your cash out? Uh -uh. All right, you gonna be mad later. I'll be <laughs> you mad. You gonna be mad just later? That, it's all just good. Hit my inbox up. It's all I good. See if I see that you got it, and you really truly doing it for your heart. Yes, but if you just doing it just to be doing it and think you finna get clout ch chase, no. Well, a lot of them are probably going to try to holler at you. That's what they do. They'll send yeah. a little something and it be like, call me or whatever like that. So, uh -uh. yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, like I say, we really appreciate you. Definitely wish you and this cutie nothing but the best. All right. Thank you. Y'all make sure y'all have a good one. All right. All right.